dog waste has four times more uh, nitrogen and bacteria and viruses and pathogens. So how a digester works is that you dig a hole in the ground, you put the digester in, some rocks, and then some septic starter, and then that will cause everything to decompose, just like a septic tank would, and just slowly seep into the ground. So you'd put this away from your vegetables or away from fruit trees. It's a gentle, more ecological way rather than having that go into the city landfill and having that go into the water system and the leachate. Uh, no, I didn't think that it polluted the environment. I thought it was just a natural product and would biodegrade completely. When the water is running fast, um, it'll pick up the poo and take it with it straight to the sewers, which end up in our waterways, and in our case, Lake Nipissing. The next step would be for some larger places to consider putting a larger version of this, potentially maybe on some trailheads where people go walking with their dogs. Instead of taking it and putting it into a non-biodegradable plastic bag and then either throwing it into the bushes or throwing it into the garbage, you could use it for cats as long as you have biodegradable kitty litter. That might be newspaper based or cedar based. Greening Nipissing attended our pausathon this year in September and we have one here that we're looking into using. We're going to see if we can uh, improve the way we do stuff and um, you know hopefully it'll help us be a little bit more environmentally conscious. There are other resources on the internet and our website will also lead them to find out how to make one themselves.